Hi everyone, in this video we are going to install Apache Web Server and Apache Web Server, Apache HTTP Server is a server that delivers web content over the internet and using Apache Web Server we can deploy or we can host our websites on those computers and as a basics what happens so when we open our computer we, we turn on our computer we launch some web browser like internet explorer and then we type in any website and then this request goes to the web servers so these web browsers are client applications and so using those client application our request is sent to a web server and on web server these are programs which run as a background service and as a result of our request those uh, web server softwares return back something to our web browser and we can see that information there and in this video we are going to install apache http web server on windows 10 machine now to show you the steps for installation of apache in our windows 10 based machine i have this windows 10 machine in my virtual uh, virtual setup so this uh, Windows 10 virtual machine and uh, first we need to download that relevant software that is Apache server so for that we are going to launch this browser and in this browser we will write Apache and Apache and maybe download for Windows we can write this like Windows and then we press enter and now you can see we have this website first one first link you can see httpd.apache.org so we click there and when we click there depending on our internet speed you can see it says that one of the line is says that apache httpd for microsoft windows available from a number of third party vendors so we are going to click this and further you can read also this like use the link below to download the apache http server from our download servers and then we can also verify its integrity but anyway for this demonstration we are going to download this uh, uh, apache from these uh, links here and when we click on those links we can have multiple options there and uh, we are going to select this uh, apache launch so we click there and when we click there we should land on the relevant uh, page and on this page we can see here we have apache 2.4.54 window uh, win64 so we have to click on this link this is a zip folder we are going to click there and then we have to be very much careful these are some advertisement we don't have to click there and hopefully this has been started otherwise we can simply click back and we click again here and this time hopefully this will start downloading so you can see we have this uh, when this has been downloaded or this is being downloaded on our uh, computer in our virtual setup and once this is done i'll show you that this has been downloaded in our downloads folder maybe we can click there and we if we minimize it then to verify we can go to our downloads folder in our windows machine and we click there and uh, to verify just click on downloads folder and you can see we have downloaded that uh, that required software here the apache web server and you can see this is the compressed version so we need to uncompress it so we are going to right click there and then we should have some option to uncompress this and it says extract all so click there and we are choosing the when we are selecting by default location so hopefully the new folder will be created here in the download folder where we will have uncompressed version of apache http server so it may take a few seconds and after that we will have this one this uh, apache web server downloaded here you can see this new folder has been created here so i'm going to close it and this is still working so maybe a few minutes a uh, few seconds more but apache web server is uh, is a free so we can practice it on different operating system the support is available for different operating system but in today's video we are using windows 10 based machine for demonstration so now this is uh, complete yes this is complete and now maybe to avoid confusion i'm going to delete this folder which was compressed one 
and now when I click there, I open this folder, I have this uh, another folder, folder that is Apache 24 and I'm going to uh, copy or maybe I'm going, to, I'm going to cut this folder from this location and now I'm going to the, uh, let's say I'm going to another, I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to C drive here and the C drive, I'm going to paste that folder here. So now you can see we have this folder and if you don't do this thing if uh, then we need to have some uh, i need i mean i we need to make some additional configuration and to avoid that i'm going to simply copy it in the by default or the configuration by default configuration to use them i have copied this folder from the downloads folder to c's root drive here c drive and now you can see apache 24 is here and if i click there double click here you can see we have this folder and then if we uh, open this pin folder you can see after a few seconds this is the httpd which will help us to install this uh, apache web server on our windows 10 machine so now we know that this is here in c and apache 24 and in this we have been so we have to copy this path so we copy this path and then we go to command prompt so to launch this command prompt, we know that we can simply write cmd and we need uh, to run it as, a, as an administrator. So click on administrator and after a few seconds, this command prompt will launch. We say yes and maybe we can close it and now you can see we are in the command line interface of Windows 10. And now we have to go to that particular folder to that particular directory where we have this Apache web server downloaded. So we just paste this, uh, that link that was in C drive Apache 24 and then we have been and then we press enter. And now we are in that particular directory and in this directory when we are here we just have to run this command that is httpd.exe and then we press enter. And now the services should start, but it's asking for permission. So we are going to uh, give permission, allow access to this. And, uh, and now the service has been started. And to show you that this has really been uh, started, we just minimize it. And then we open our browser here. And in our browser, we will type the local host that will be one, to seven so that will be the ip address of a local computer learn to seven dot zero dot zero dot one and we press enter so now you can see it's, there is a message that it works it means at this time we have been successful to install this apache web server on our windows 10 based machine so this was uh, quick and simple and now let's see what we have here and uh, we are going to minimize this and if we go back to our this folder in this bin folder and if we go back here we have a folder that is known as ht docs and if we open this one then you can see we have an index file and whatever is being displayed in our browser so that is being taken from this file that is index.html and now we can also delete it and we can we can maybe bring our own contents so for example in this case we have here i have this file here so i have created this in html you can see this is something we have created for myself so now this is html and i would like to see this contents in place of the by default contents here so it means this is my website and i host i want to host this website using apache web server so let's say I'm going to close it, maybe close this browser and uh, then I'm going to copy these contents here, both of the files and I'm going to paste the same contents here and now this was the by default index, so I'm going to delete that one and in place of that I'll just change the name of my file which is actually index1, I'll change it to index, simply index and press enter and now in this directory, I have actually placed the files required uh, are the files of my website. And now if I launch this browser and in this browser, if I can write the IP address of local, I mean local host, so that will be 127.0.0 and .1 and press enter. So 
So this time you can see instead of the by default page, it is showing me the site or the website which I have developed. Now, if we want to access the same website, which is hosted on Windows 10 machine, and if you want to access this maybe from second machine that is Kali Linux machine. So I already have Kali Linux machine in my virtual setup. And now I open this browser. And in this browser, I will write, or I'll type the IP address of Windows 10 machine. That IP address of Windows 10 is 192.168.204.1. 146 and if I press enter so now you can see it also shows that this website which is basically hosted on Windows 10 machine so on this machine so that website is also accessible from, from wind uh, sorry from Kali Linux machine as well okay so that's it for today we wanted to show you that uh, yes how how we can install Apache web server and how we can host some specific website on that so that was really static web page and maybe we can add some more functionality to it in our future videos but for demonstration i wanted to show that how this web server actually works so thank you thank you for your time and hope to see you in some other video